maybe you're a few years out of college or you finally landed your first well-paying job. You think to yourself, now is the time to take control of my financial life. This week's episode, I want to give all of you an every year financial checklist. Let's get into it. Tip one, increase your savings. I know what you're thinking. Oh great, thanks Lauren. This is noble peace prize level work you have provided. Hear me out. Every year you can expect to get a pay increase of some sort to keep pace with an inflation. While it may be saw, say 2%, you can still take advantage of that. If you get a 2% raise for the year, increase your employer retirement plan by 1%. And guess what? You will still have more take home pay. Even if you don't get a raise this year, increase your retirement plan by 1%. You will hardly notice the extra savings from your paycheck, and it should go a long way in helping with your retirement. Tip number two, build your emergency fund. You should have enough to cover at least six months worth of living expenses. The easiest way to do this is to automate your savings. As soon as your paycheck comes in, automate $50 to $100 to transfer into a separate account for your emergency fund. Make sure you're using a separate account so you don't commingle your bank accounts. Tip number three, shop homeowners in auto insurance. Policy Genius recently did a survey and found that one in three Americans with homeowners and car insurance never shopped for better coverage. The main deterrent was that they think it will take too much time. The crazy fact was that once individuals did shop, 42% made a switch. Tip number four, review beneficiaries. This one is as simple as it sounds. Take some time each year to review your beneficiaries. Has anything changed? Did the family grow? Are you mad at your siblings? Whatever the case, Review your beneficiaries because once you're gone, you can't fix it. Tip number five, revisit your W-4. If you continually get a large tax refund every year, you should reevaluate your W-4. Your W-4 is the document that tells your payroll provider how much to withhold for Uncle Sam. The time value of money has taught us that a dollar today is worth more than a dollar in the future because of inflation and interest rates, especially when the interest rate is 0% from the federal government. As always, thanks for joining me for another episode of Nostalgy TV. We'll see you next time.